we asked you, what are your skincare concerns? What's your biggest problem? And I'm gonna be answering those questions and that's coming up next. Welcome back. Christine Beyer here, licensed esthetician for 21 years. And this channel is about your skincare journey. It's never one thing that makes your skin look better. It's a combination of things because we're all different and we all have different needs. So I was asking about those and I'm going to answer those now. Alexandri Mangano asks, I have a lot of redness around my nose, cheeks, and mouth area, and purple under my eyes. Just overall skin discoloration. How can I settle these issues? Fair combo skin. Okay, so those are really two separate issues. When we have redness around here, it's usually from dilated capillaries. It happens over time, and it happens from doing our own extractions and having allergies, rubbing our noses, et cetera, et cetera. Sun, sun can cause them. So cheeks and her mouth area right so if you have those and you can actually pull the skin and see individual dilated capillaries that's actually good because you can have them cauterized once again with electro desiccator so think thermoclear thermolo skin classic the lamb probe there are so many but they're called electro desiccators or skin, I don't know, they, they, they are thermocoagulators that remove skin abnormalities and the old timey hair removal specialists like the thermologist, thermolysis, it's the only FDA approved permanent hair removal. So they have devices that, that double to remove skin imperfections. And they use a teeny tiny little needle and just basically cauterize where those little frayed capillaries start. And that works great but you'll probably need to retreat in a couple of years because they tend to reform. Now you can use vitamin C and all sorts of products with red raspberry extract, vitamin C. These ingredients help strengthen the capillary walls. So definitely want a vitamin C in your routine. As far as the blueness that you get underneath your eyes, once again, that is caused, that's hereditary. It can be from up from aging but the skin thins and we tend to see the capillary activity uh, underneath more clearly as the skin gets thinner there you you can do things that thicken up the skin and make it look better things like the mbk eye rejuvenator does a great job on that i suffer from the same thing and that bar none out of all the devices i work with that are non-surgical that works the best for plumping out this area and making the blueness look less noticeable. Now, there's some people that will go in and get laser and all that stuff underneath the eye. I would make sure that that tissue is very well nourished and worked out. Like I would get the eye rejuvenator and use it every day if you're considering getting laser because there are some doctors that will do that. I'm not a fan. I've seen people mess up underneath their eyes with lasers. It's just such thin, delicate skin. I just, you really need to go to somebody who is well versed and does it day in, day out, as with any facial procedure, right? So, some things that I do, I will get, you may know this, but color correcting, where I'll do a peach based color corrector first and then go over it with my regular color uh, concealer. And so that helps cancel out the blue underneath the eyes. Everybody wants to get to this point where they're not wearing makeup. And I'm like, why? Makeup protects our face. Everybody looks better with some sort of tint on their face. They just, you just do. So I, I, I happen to love makeup. And without makeup, I probably wouldn't even be in skincare because I got into skincare because I loved makeup. Yeah, everybody wants to go without, but the truth is there are some really valuable tricks we can learn and, and they're all on YouTube about how to take that blue out from underneath your eyes with makeup. And like I said, you can use that eye rejuvenator that works like gangbusters. Will it be, will it work to a point that you just won't need under eye makeup? I, I don't know. I don't know if you would be happy with a 30% improvement and then go without makeup. I don't know. It's such a personal thing, but... It, it does plump out that under eye area like no other device I've seen. 